Have you ever thought about the impact your shoes have on your outfits? I'm Sheila, I'm a personal stylist, and I help women find the best styles that suit their body shape, their coloring, and their personality so they can dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. Because shoes have such a huge impact on your overall look, Today I'm going to talk about shoes and show you how you can look chic with the right shoes. The right shoes will make your outfit come alive, while the wrong shoes will make your outfit look drab and frumpy. Choosing the right shoe for your outfit can be very difficult because for one reason there are so many different types. For example, flats. How many different types of flats are there? So to make it simple, today I'm going to talk about different types of shoes, for example, pumps and flats and strappy sandals and how to wear them. So I'm not going to go into all of the different styles of pumps and flats, but I will use the basic ones so you'll get the idea and you'll be more confident when you do choose your shoes to go with your outfit. So first let's talk about pumps. Pumps are a classic style of shoes and they come in different colors, different heights, and different shapes. If you choose a basic shape pump, you can have that pump for a while. Now that depends on if you want to choose your pumps to go with different styles and you want to keep updating your pumps with the season and the season styles. That's up to you. But to make it easier, if you stick to classic pumps, when you get started, then you'll have more wiggle room, I guess. Pumps are worn in a professional environment and they can be also worn for a chic look. They're not casual and they're not really dressy, so they're in that in-between part of professional chic. The best pump for you will be in your best neutral and it will also be in your best height. Now, The best height for a pump for comfort is about two inches and a half, a heel two inches and a half or two inches and a quarter. That if you go to three inches, it gets more difficult to walk and you don't want to be hoppling around in your pump. And you might want to have pumps that are lower. The lower they are, the more comfortable they're going to be. If the heel is square, they'll be more comfortable. So that is something that's up to you. Here are a couple of styles of pumps that are classic. And if you choose either of these styles, you will always be in style. These are classic pumps and they come in different heights, so you can get different types of heels for a classic pump and still be in style. Pumps can be worn with dresses, skirts, and pants. Pumps have a low vamp, which means they come down low on your instep, so they don't cover a lot of your foot, which makes your legs look longer. So that's why they are great for dresses that are mid-calf or below the knee. Anything below the knee, but not maxi. Any dress that's below the knee looks best when you wear a pump. Because they're such a chic look, they will elevate your pants. So if you wear pumps with pants, your look is instantly elevated, rather than if you wore clunky big shoes with them, which would make you look frumpy. So just one change to, of shoes can elevate your look from frumpy to chic. So now let's talk about a shoe with a low heel. And there are numerous types of shoes with low heels. Low heels are casual and they are casual chic. So you can make your outfit look more casual or more chic depending on the flat that you choose. These flats have a high vamp, which means they cover in a lot of your foot. So you want to wear them with pants, with jeans. And if you want to wear them with any type of dress or skirt, it would have to be one that's above your knee. And most of these types won't really look great with a skirt above the knee. Each one of these flats have a different feels. Depending on how you want to make your outfit look, you will choose a shoe or a flat to match that. Number three is a slingback strappy sandal. These come in different styles as well. And you can wear them with a dress or a skirt that's above your knee. Most of them are in the casual chic category. With this strappy sandal, you can wear it with shorts, Bermuda shorts, you can wear it with ankle pants, you can wear it with a dress or a skirt just above the knee. The theme of this type of shoe is casual chic. So when you wear this, 
your dressing becomes more casually chic. If you're going to wear them with jeans, make sure they match in color and in the weight of the fabric. So if you're wearing a really heavy jean, a light sandal will be too light for the jeans. So the fabric and the sandal must also be coordinated and must match. So for example, if you're wearing a really heavy jean and this light sandal, something will be off about it. It won't look good. It's better if you pair it with a really lightweight jean if you wear it with jeans at all. The next one is a summer flat sandal. You can find this sandal in different shapes and styles and one that will suit you best. They are best worn with shorts, with jeans, with skirts, and with long dresses. During summer, if you have a pair of sandals like these, you will get a lot of wear from them. The next shoe on my list is the elegant strappy sandal. So this one's worn just for elegant evenings or maybe with a cocktail dress or a long gown. This sandal might have embellishments and it might not. If you're wearing an elegant dress, you definitely need to have your sandals to match that dress in elegance. It doesn't have to have any kind of embellishments. It just has to have that elegant light look. Anything that's heavy or bulky will throw off your whole gown look. Again, if you're wearing a cocktail dress, you also want to have that light sandal. If you wear a cocktail dress and a heavy sandal, you can see how the weight of each is different and that will make your outfit not look quite as good. So how do you wear sneakers? There are two types of sneakers. One is for workout wear and the other one is for casual. If you decide to wear sneakers with your dress or with shorts, choose sneakers that are lightweight. Sneakers are great to have in your wardrobe, but don't confuse the two types. Don't wear running shoes with your dress. Also, when you wear sneakers with an outfit, that outfit, if it's shorts, it should be above your knee. If it's a skirt or dress, it should be above your knee. And this all has to do with the lines and symmetry. The whole idea of looking good is to have a symmetric look. When you follow celebrities and you follow fashion, they aren't going for that symmetric look. Fashion on a runway is about art. When it comes into our world, it gets changed to be wearable, but on the runway, it's for art. With the fall coming up, you'll want to have boots in your wardrobe. Now, whether you live in a cold climate or a warm climate, it doesn't really matter if you live in a climate where you get snow, you can still wear boots. Because boots are a fashion item and they can make your outfit look really great. If you're in a warm climate where it doesn't really get that cold, you could choose light color boots then they're more of a fashion statement. But if you're in a colder climate, you're gonna want boots more for function. When you wear boots with a skirt that's above your knee, choose a coat that comes down over the boot. So there isn't that line and you have a clean look. Boots are great for any woman who doesn't really like wearing pumps, doesn't like wearing shoes with dresses because she's not really crazy about how her legs look in dresses. Boots are great for that because they cover your legs and they give your legs that long look. And they're fashionable. So in this case, boots are really a good thing to choose. Of course, the two most important things you wanna look for when you're matching your shoes to your outfits is to make sure they match in theme. So the theme of your outfit should match your shoes. For example, if your outfit is casual, you wear casual shoes. If your outfit is elegant, you wear elegant shoes. And if it's professional, you wear professional type shoes. Also, your shoes should match your outfit in weight. So if you're wearing a really lightweight dress, you'll want to have shoes that are lightweight. If you're wearing a heavy dress, you'll have shoes that are heavier or you'd wear boots. So if you're heavy on top, you want to be heavy on the bottom. If you're light on top, light on the bottom. The thing about style and looking great in style is to have symmetry. So it has to do with the lines in your body and your coloring, so it all fits together with the styles you choose. If you'd like to know more about style and keep that style conversation going, join my Women in Style community, and I'll put the link for that below. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and keep on styling.